Hello and welcome. Today we will be building this uh, procedural fence in Blender using geometry nodes. And this is totally um, a procedural. You can move around the vertices and it will adjust accordingly. You can extend this as well, if you extrude it, you can make whatever shape you like. So let's begin.
Okay, let's now build our uh, geometry node network. And uh, since we have a mesh uh, and we want to instance the uh, corner uh, block on the vertices and the middle brick and spike component on the edge of our uh, shape. So for that, let's just split this uh, shape into multiple edges. For that, we can use the split edges node. This will give us the edges. And uh, we can now change these edges to curves. Okay, now next we need to resample this uh, each each edge so that we have multiple points on this edge. For that, we can use the resample curve, and I want it to have a resampling rate as provided in the length. So for now, let's use a number of 0.5 meters and once we do that uh, we can then uh, convert this curve into a, a points collection by using curve to points so once we do that we can then have a collection of points uh, where we can instantiate our uh, objects. So for that we have instance two points node. Rather instance on points. Uh, we can provide the instance here. Which will be our uh, middle brick. And we have now uh, gotten this uh, uh, middle brick instance, uh, instance on each uh, of the point that we created through resampling. Uh, but you can notice that these are not oriented correctly. I want them to orient to the path uh, or rather the edge that I had created initially. So uh, that is one of the issues. But secondly, I don't want these to be instanced on the uh, corners on the uh, last edges on the uh, last vertices of each edge. I want this to be uh, just instance uh, between the two vertices. So for that we can uh, use the delete uh, geometry node. But we'll have to select uh, which uh, geometry to delete. So, so we can... Uh, so let us add the delete geometry node. So let us add a delete geometry node. And we have to provide a selection which you can do with endpoint selection. And now you can see that it has deleted the uh, instance geometry which was on uh, each of the vertices. Once we are uh, done with this, we now need to uh, reorient these on the path. So we have a rotation of each point available to us, which we can uh, use to rotate our instance geometry correctly. So let's use uh, rotate Euler. And 
plug it into the rotation. Let's now uh, convert the curves to point node to evaluate it. This will only instance uh, geometry in the evaluated path. Okay, we have added uh, the rotator node, but uh, you can see that we can't rotate it on the uh, axis that we want. We want this to be aligned to uh, the edge. To correct that, we can add the align relative vector node uh, before the rotator node, and uh, once we do, we can then switch it to Z, and uh, let's reset these. Um, that is to zero and now you can see that these are correctly oriented uh, but there is a gap between uh, the bricks that we don't want with that we want them to be closer together so for that let's resample the curve with the um, much less uh, length let's uh, do 0.35 and this looks uh, to be okay uh, next, we need to add the corner pillar to the corners. Uh, for that, let's now uh, get our. For that, let's convert our initial mesh to points. And let's get vertices from this mesh. And once we do, we can then use these points to instance our geometry uh, on the points. Let's get uh, the object, which is in this case the corner pillar. Let's add a join geometry node. And we have the corners, pillars, we want them to be. So let's uh, play around a bit uh, with our setup and see if this is working. And indeed, this is working for us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. And thank you. Uh, see you in the next video.